Today's a beautiful day because any day one can be on two wheels is a beautiful day and today is an extra special day because yeah we ride the Indian chief dark horse. Uh, I'm liking this bike even though I am not a cruiser guy so if you guys are curious to hear the opinion about the dark horse from a non-cruiser guy stick around because I'm not a cruiser guy I ride everything else but not cruisers and so far today man like I said in the intro if you guys are looking to upgrade to a bigger cruiser but you don't want to go into the 20k plus realm almost 30k for the big dog the, the touring cruisers for example this starts here in Germany with tax, 18 grand. You're looking at it right here. Then the Bobber, 20. Then the Indian Super Chief, 22-ish, depending on what you want. Uh, but this is a great option if you don't want to drop 30K. Oh, but you got 20K. Here you go. Thank you, Indian, for making this viable option for us guys that, hey, maybe you know what? We, ha we have a 1200, whether it's a Roadster uh, or it's the Scout, for instance, uh, or anything like that. Thank you, Indian, for making this base model with this almost 1900cc motor. Yeah, almost 1.9 liter. <laughs> V-twin, air-cooled. Speaking of V-twin air-cooled, let's take a look at this V-twin air-cooled motor. Look at that. Isn't that drop-dead gorgeous? And look at these heads there, the valve co the, the covers there. <laughs> wow. It's reminiscent of the original 1921. I'll show a picture of that there. And look at these push rods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is hilarious. Now, 1890cc, so almost 1900cc. And yeah, 162 newton meters of torque right there at three grand, or a little before 2,900, three grand all the way to 32. You get those numbers, but this was unusual for an air-cooled motor because still at five grand, this thing was still pulling. I was surprised. Now pulling on this six-speed manual gearbox here, uh, that was doing fairly well. How is this powertrain on the street? So here in nice relaxed cruiser mode, the engine is behaving very admirably. Uh, it's very, very smooth, very controlled. No problems, no complaints. Now as soon as we open this thing up and you get it to three grand, watch it, watch it here. Wait, uh, well, let's go down a gear, shall we? <laughs> Oh, that thing will pull your fillings out, guys. If, if you guys want some cheap dentistry, this is the bike to get. Because this bike will pull your fillings straight out of your teeth. <laughs> it's, and you hit that magic point from two to four. This thing is just yanking, yanking your, not just your fillings, it'll pull the whole tooth out. And this transmission is very solid, very, you know when it shifts. It's, it's not a clunk though, that's the, the I, I know it's a click, but it's it, it's not just a click, and, but yet it's not quite over to the uh, clunky side, so to speak. And so that's the interesting thing about this transmission, Indian. Good job. I, and yeah, let's drop her, drop her another one. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, loving this powertrain. <laughs> Let's drop her. Let's drop her again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can ride this bike aggressively. Most cruisers, you cannot. And this powertrain, when you say, hey, let's go aggressive, it says, sure, why not? <laughs> I've never been on a cruiser with a powertrain that will ride as aggressive as this. For that reason, this powertrain, boom, boom, Indian, boom, boom, two thumbs, way, way up. Uh, this is a nice, fun cruiser. I am impressed. 
Now guys, let's come up to the chassis, starting with this beautiful suspension. Look at these bad boys. 46 millimeter here. Yeah, 132 mils of travel, but what do you notice is missing on this side? Yeah, beautiful spoked wheels, by the way. Yeah, it's a 300 semi-floater there, and four piston calipers from Indian there, just on one side. And look at the back, still a 300 mil disc with two piston Indian down there floaters. Now, how does this feel on the street with this chassis? Uh, I took this bike down this road here because it's a little rough. I always take bikes down this road just to see how the suspension's going to perform and so far oh wow this this is performing admirably no problems whatsoever and she pulls uh oh a hawk <laughs> and with this 19 inch front and 16 inch rear the chassis is doing well on this road not bad at all and the rear brake Oh, yeah, I could tell right there. Yeah, where it's going to lock. Yeah, and then the and then the front. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, loving the front brakes. Yeah, these these brakes. I'm not going to give them two thumbs cuz I'm not a cruiser guy. I'll give them one thumb for the brakes, but there's for as far as cruisers, these brakes are great, guys. So overall, the chassis gets one and a half thumb. Good job, Indian. Now let's continue on with the rest of this bike. Continuing on to the back, what do you notice is missing here? You can put a seat on here, also a solo. Right now it's just a solo, but you can put a passenger seat on here with the foot peg mounts and everything down there. You can see them missing down there, actually. Uh, and with you can get the uh, sissy bar for that, but then you also have to buy that pad. So pff, you're buying three parts for the seat, sissy bar, and pad. And that's what hooks into here and here for you there. Uh, but yeah, I do like this tail. Nice looking tail end at rear end. But yeah, look at these. Look at these duels. Oh, yeah. Those, don't those things look beefy? <laughs> Yeah, okay, and a nice low 26 inch seat, uh, 662 mils off the ground. And a 15 liter standard four gallon cruiser tank. Now, with this tank filled up, this thing weighs 304 kilos. How do those kilos feel in the street or in a small village? Uh, let's see, in town here, this is very nice it, it handles it's 300 kilos very very nice and you can sit here and it takes an input as soon as you initiate the lean with a push right go right push left go left it goes no problems hmm. not bad for a 300 kilogram machine uh, also with only a 75 millimeter three inch rear travel <laughs> suspension it's okay it's your typical cruiser that's what that is okay, let's let's bring it down oh wait the speed limit's going to drop to 30 right up here then we can let's check the mapping shall we yeah and this speedo is working good this tft in the sun okay right here uh oh not bad i'm trying to find a problem but nothing Okay, a little bit of an on-off there, but that could also be the driveline lash with this huge, almost 1900cc motor. Uh, but no complaints. Here, now it's going to go back up to 50. Yeah, let's see if we can flip this, shall we? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> no problem. So as far as in town, manners, uh, this thing gets an A+. Plus. Two thumbs for me. No, no doubts about that. Uh, for, for, you got to remember its size, guys. You know, 300 kilos cruiser. 
that's that's a low rider this is a 26 inch high seat so what is that 660 uh, millimeters off the ground so it's a very low seat yeah you can hear it in my voice going over these bumps here uh, but yeah oh that tour oh it just comes on at three grand oh <laughs> yeah all right guys let's continue on with the controls the mirrors worked like a traditional cruiser <laughs> uh, here you have your standard controls here and your standard controls here now what do you notice is missing no key key sitting here this is the new keyless you press this button there and then it lights up the four inch round touch tft and it takes forever to come up okay yeah <laughs> Yeah, you can you can do a daytime running lights and then and, and also the blacked out. I like the blacked out also. I think this one is on. Oh, finally, the warning sign came up. Yeah, OK, there now you can see it. But yeah, that's what I thought. They, uh, they're out of sync. GoPro doesn't like it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can see the and it also has the navigation. This is the only cruiser on the market that has built in to the TFT map navigation thank you indian for starting us out for 18 grand and giving us that on a tft because a bike like this you want to go down roads like this or roads like that over there through the trees and get lost but here you have the map you have the navi built right in with the ride command boom have your phone with a ride command done uh, you're not getting lost you're just looking at the TFT oh let's see if we can get lost take me go here 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 and then say okay take me back home boom done that's what this bike is for it's for getting lost down all these B C L and K and country roads little one lane roads yeah that's this bike and with this ride command yeah you can do that with this TFT map all right guys overall how would i rate this bike well since i'm not a cruiser guy it wouldn't be fair for me to rate this bike um, so take what i say from this point on with a grain of salt uh, but i'm giving it two thumbs up because i like it i was very surprised uh, it's for 300 kilos it is nimble for 300 kilos i was very surprised with the the how much input you did not need on a machine this size. Just very little inputs on the handlebars and she goes over into a lean and a heartbeat and then comes back up out of the lean in a heartbeat too. I was very surprised at that. Very low, low, low weight on this bad boy. All right guys, so that's why I'm giving her two thumbs up. Not way up, but just two thumbs up on this bike and give it some serious consideration if you're considering stepping up in size in a cruiser without all the weight and money this be the bike guys all right guys as always i hope you've enjoyed this review and number one guys ride safe and number two ride like there's nothing to prove take care cheers